you are set for a powerful encounter that will change your life forever, as you are about to listen to this powerful sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman. A shift is about to take place in your life that will lead to a supernatural transformation. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? Creator of say, Creator of the universe, what can you do? Keep coming, keep coming. All the overflow, just allow those who are healed to come. You're the name. Name What can you do? My friend, this man. I'm from Benway State, sir. Benway State. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Ah, God is going to visit people today. Yes. Honestly. Listen, I want you to believe that as I speak over your life, believe that you will return with a testimony. Yes. Hallelujah. You see, so many people, there will be a rain of jobs. I want to pray for you. There is an anointing that I want to release upon your life. And you will marvel. You heard the testimony of that woman. If someone is America, this is a PhD woman who is there struggling, opening boxes. And a prophetic word comes, she puts a prayer request, and now she's working with Jebezos. What is it that God cannot do? In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for those in front, but you can stand maybe for your loved one. You can stand for someone you know who loves God with all their heart, but it looks like these doors have not been opened. In the name of Jesus, those of you in front here, I'm going to declare an anointing upon you. A mighty anointing will come upon you, and you will return with your testimony. Right now at the count of three, those in front, I will have my kappa, koto, koto, pa. I want you to shout the name Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Take that case now. Take that anointing. Take that anointing. Take that anointing. Take that anointing. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare supernatural jobs. I break the cycles of stagnation career stagnation i command those cycles be broken now be broken now be broken now i release supernatural jobs in the name of jesus christ hear me for some of you it will not be up to three days from today write it down i'm telling you by the god who sent me my god will surprise you applications that you may have been written for years that no one has called you over in the name of Jesus we schedule favor on that wise for you in the name of Jesus Christ
there is someone I'm seeing here, you work with civil defense. Civil defense, you are not part of civil defense. Is there someone like that? I just got a prophetic word. The Lord is telling me you are up the balcony. You are somewhere in the balcony. Please verify. You work with civil, who is that person? Run, because a door, a mighty door is about to open for you. I will pray for you, but the person I'm seeing, you are wearing like lime or green up the balcony. I know what I'm saying. Just listen to me. Is there someone like... Who is that? Where were you sitting? Let's organize this now, please. Um, some of the leaders, please. Oh, please bring her to the front. Let me talk to you. My dear, give her the mic. Look at me. You had a dream some time ago and you saw this thing. Yes, sir. If I'm lying, this afternoon. Huh? This afternoon. what happened? I saw myself like, like an award in the office. I want to pray for you because what God is about to do in your life will surprise you. Oh, that's why you came with your ID card. That's why I got my, I told my friends sitting here. The lady of Bobo, I told her this afternoon. Where is the friend? Look at her. I told her the dream. This afternoon. If you are not the friend, don't come here, please. Let's, please, please. Huh? Okay, don't worry. For sake of time, give me the ID card. Let me tell you the truth. Koinonia, hear me. We are in the days of his power. Believe this when I tell you. We are in the days of his power. You see why it's good to come to the house of God? This has nothing to do with a miracle service. Once your heart is opened. defense how do i stand here and know that someone has been praying had a dream there are things you cannot fake no my dear i'm praying for you in the name of jesus christ because the kind of lifting that god is bringing will surprise you i prophesy may that grace come upon you in the name of jesus I hold your passport fire let that grace come on you now take that grace now in the name of Jesus there is a grace for visibility there is a grace that can cause people to know you are there as I've released it upon this lady let that grace land on someone's destiny let the apakatos May that grace rest upon someone, rest upon a business, rest upon a ministry, in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, by this as a prophetic contact, let an anointing rest upon your life. You will come and testify in Jesus' name. This is the lady that came here first. No, no, hold on. I'm this, this, you are the one who came here. You work in civil defense yes, too? Yes, I work in civil defense. And you too, madam? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. How long have you been there? I've been there for 10 years, sir. 10 years. What of you? 10 years too. 10 years, two of you. Yes. 2012. Yes. Father, who is that? My friend, why? You work in civil defense still? I'm not, it's okay. It doesn't matter whether, I'm not saying if you walk, you, this is just a word for them. It doesn't matter where you walk. God is going to lift you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hold on. You, it was not too long ago you left UBA. Who is that? It was not too long ago you left UBA. UBA is a bank. Who is that person? God wants to change your story now. For those I have prayed for, you, the, the first set who came, God bless you, please return to your seats rejoicing, so that we'll hurry up now. Do you know I have not given my charge for tonight, and you must hear the charge. Praise God. Faith comes by hearing, you must hear the charge. Please come. UBA, is there someone like that? I'm not saying you are walking in UBA. You left UBA. Where, when did you leave? 17. 2017. Yes, sir. How about you? 2020. I want to pray for you. 
my people from civil defense let's pray in the name of jesus christ father you are wiping the tears of men you are changing people's stories in the name of jesus i decree and declare may the lord surprise you who came from katsina katsina i just saw that name katsina when you find that person please don't tell lies huh Please stand here. I come from Katsina, sir. Huh? What, what's she saying? Mama, be patient. Eh? We are going to pray. This one is word of knowledge. But since you have come, um, our mother is insisting that she's not well. We are going to, we have a section to pray for the sick. What is wrong with you, Mama? Okay, that's that's all right. Let's just honor our mother. She's she's an elderly woman. It's okay, Mama. You believe in the power? That that's all right, Mama. Don't worry. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm going to pray for you. You came from where? okay don't worry you see she left a long distance so let's let's just forbear with her you see it's to tell you that people are desperate for the touch of god are we together now so sometimes we're excellent people but we need to allow sometimes this is an elderly woman and as far as she's concerned whether it's a case or not i mean you don't do it but at least since she has done it let's honor her father in the name of jesus we pray for no 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 please mama stand we pray for our mother let there be healing hypertension diabetes every demonic thing will cost you right now in the name of jesus mama we bring you life back pain every pain in your body let it go right now in jesus name i pray let's celebrate mama as she goes back to her seat where is the person from katsina yes sir katsina yes sir mm. What do you do? I'm police officer, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. I'm not a prophet of doom. Yes, sir. But I want to pray for you because I'm seeing them wanting to drive you because a pistol was missing. This is what I'm seeing. You yes, understand? Sir. I'm yes, not. Go, I'm seeing that you, like gun, your rifle yes, sir. could not be found and you could not account for it. Yes, and this is a demonic thing because there is something God wants to do. I know you are a police officer, but there is a mighty man of God that God is training in you. Amen. Let me tell you the truth. God is, you see our police officers, there are, there are many people who will rise from the force. Write this down as a prophetic word. God is going to be, right from their academies, God will start raising mighty people. Mighty people. So I want to pray with you. You too, my friend. You came from Katsina. I came from Kogi State. I resigned from UBA Bank okay, last you, year. Okay, our UBA people, okay, I'll pray for you. I don't know why God said UBA. You see, when you are working with God, just obey. You, it may not make sense why God, there are many banks, and I'm sure everybody wants, what you do is whether the word applies to you directly or not. You can, once your faith connects to it, you can return with a testimony. In fact, do you know I can prophesy to someone, and the person I prophesy to may not even receive the miracle because of unbelief, and someone who connected by faith will come back with a testimony. That is God for you. Are we together? In the name of Jesus Christ, my friend, I pray for you that the devil will not orchestrate an event that will indict you. There is a woman who is watching from Joss. Your son is a drunkard and you are tired of his situation. I'm seeing that mama crying right now as as you are following the lord is saying i should tell you that in your lifetime you will see god turn your son's life around you are an elderly woman you are watching from joss your son has a problem I think and this thing has brought you a lot of pain. It's as if you gave birth for sorrow. Can I extend that prophecy for every mother here? In the name of Jesus Christ for every mother here or anybody standing 
any of your sons that the devil is trying to hijack whether through drunkenness or any kind of addiction here at this miracle service we break the power of addiction we break the power of addiction we break the power of addiction in the name of jesus so i pray for you my friend you go and return with a testimony in jesus name i pray and for those who left uba i don't know why the lord asks that i bring you up out but in jesus name i stretch my hands towards you i decree and declare may the lord himself by this prophetic word shift you to the next season of your career exploits whether you currently have a job or not i'm speaking to you prophetically return with a testimony in the name of jesus christ am i wasting your time please don't feel bad but there are two women the lord wants me to pray ordinarily i would not call them to come out but the lord is instructing me young ladies you had um you lost your pregnancy and you are even here with your husband and the lord wants me to pray for you this is something that happened i don't know maybe maybe a few months back or so and you are here with your husband come I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this God is too good. I will worship him forever, love him forever, because... Don't be afraid. I know you may cry, but it's a word of hope. God is not asking you to come and stand here to disgrace you, I assure you. He's asking you to come because there is balm in Gilead. This is a miracle service. I will worship him forever. Allow those who are coming to come. Husband and wife, come. To show you the kind of nonsense that the devil is trying to do over families. But we declare that the devil is a liar. There will be a massive celebration of miracle children. Don't sit back if you are in this category. God is calling you. I will worship him forever. Love him forever. Because... hallelujah listen the first word is a word of comfort please look up the bible says remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old you see when god gives a prophetic word and please our global family learn from this when you are operating prophetically number one you have to know that prophecy brings comfort prophecy exhorts this is not just a display of spiritual gifts these people that god is bringing you will be surprised that some of them right now if god does not step in their marriages may tear apart unfortunately because of the kinds of cultures that we come from for some of them when there are prolonged issues like this there's there's bound to be conflict between the man and the wife so when god calls them like this it is number one to let them know that he's aware the bible says for we do not have a high priest who cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities hallelujah let me comfort and encourage everyone here we stand as a ministry in love and partnership and in prayer with you but let me tell you whenever you are having any challenge as a couple there's no such thing as pointing your fingers to say you are the cause or you are the cause when you stood at the altar you agreed that two of you have become one are we together so if the wife wins and the husband loses they lost if the husband wins and the wife loses they lost it is only when they win together that they truly win let me ask the ladies if you can as a point of contact just place your hand on your stomach if you can and then i want to pray for you now remember not the former things the lord god of heaven is going to bless you right now he will make a way for you 
He will be your God Holds you closely to His side With love and strength for each new day He will make a way He will make a way let me rebuke the spirits that are masquerading behind all of these demonic things. Father, I stretch my hands right now. If there is anyone here that behind these manifestations of darkness are evil spirits, unclean spirits, yokes, curses, all kinds of ordinances, I stretch my hands over you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. I speak to you in the name of Jesus, like Prophet Eli spoke over Hannah. According to the, ah, I'm seeing fire. This is what I'm seeing. I'm just seeing fire move over people. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Release them now. I stand in partnership with the Holy Ghost and I declare be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. The Lord gave it as a command. We stand as a ministry and enforce it over your life. And as I'm praying for these ones, anyone in the congregation who is trusting God for the miracle of fruitfulness, parus katapakata, fire is falling in the name of Jesus. I declare, be fruitful. Be fruitful. Whatever the medical condition is, we veto it by the word of God. And we declare, according to the time of life, go and return with your children. And for those of you trusting God for twins, in the name of Jesus, we release twins. Those of you trusting God for triplets, in the name of Jesus, we release triplets. You will think it's a joke till you stand to dedicate them here. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus. There is one of you here I'm saying a spirit always appears to you. And this is something that also happened to your sister. They tell you they have visions where wicked spirits appear to them. Who is that person? In the name of Jesus I decree and declare. Every foul devil that will not allow you enjoy your marriage. In the name of Jesus we declare a separation right now. A separation right now. Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Koinonia. You are here and your business is not working at all. I'm not, I don't mean you are rising, you are managing. It's like there is an attack. I want you to leave your seat and run and come and stand here. God wants to surprise you. Please listen to what I'm saying before you come. Let's be orderly. Let's be obedient. You will not be down. Accept this anointing. Let me tell you the truth. What will happen? You will marvel and wonder at the lifting power that is in the name of Jesus. If you are, if you are in any of the overflows, just move to your LEDs. You may not be able to come here. Those outside, you can just move to your LEDs and connect by faith. say it does not matter this is why god has organized this to attend to the issues of people hallelujah make sure that whatever business you are involved with it's not a business that kills, steals, and destroys. Are we together? Yes. We are not going to waste our time praying for people who are doing demonic things. We, we, it's important that your value 
that what you are doing is adding value to people and not something that is destroying lives but i want to release an anointing upon you you will be surprised honestly are you ready father you have anointed us for this purpose there are people here who have cried there are people right now as i speak you have gone down like it's not you are owing to the millions tens of millions hundreds of millions it's not business that will bring you out it's the prophetic that will bring you out i can move from left to my right in the name of jesus at the count of three receive a baptism of the grace for excellence one Two, three, take that grace now. 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 I release you. Go and prosper. Go and excel. Go and prosper. Go and excel. Listen. Every business that has died here, hear ye the word of the Lord. Between now and the next three months, I command come back to life. Come back to life. Come back to life. Anyone here who is in debt, you are owing banks, you are owing financial institutions, you are owing and there is no way you can come out. I call upon Ebenezer, the God who helps men, and I declare unto you, come out of that financial situation. last master for it was borrowed and he said where fell it I'm speaking to you again in the name of Jesus if there are wrong people in your business I take them out now and the right people who need to join your chariot I bring them in prophetically in the name of Jesus Christ stretch your hands towards me your hand is a symbol of your productivity i place an anointing on these hands go and excel go and excel in the name of jesus father we give you praise because you are the deliverer the one who sets us free there are wicked spirits that have sat on people's lives and destinies masquerading as problems but in the name of jesus begin to bring them out please i declare and decree by this anointing of the spirit of god at the count of three you're going to shout that name that is above all names the name that has been exalted above thrones and dominions and every name that is named not only in this world but even that which is to come and as you shout that name the fire of the holy spirit will begin to rest upon people and bring deliverances for them of all sorts in the name of jesus i decree and declare at the count of three every demonic spirit that has tied down lives and destinies masquerading as physical problems you must go right now are you ready one two three shout jesus shout jesus let them go release your destinies 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 right now outside inside everywhere i decree and declare release your destinies by the power of the holy ghost please bring them out very quickly release their destinies in the name of jesus christ I tell you fire is falling in this place in the name of Jesus please bring them out very quickly I decree and declare we are still praying every family that is under demonic siege kept in one place no movement no progress right now the anointing of the spirit is fishing out every demon spirit behind the retrogression of families are you ready to shout jesus again lord every family under attack we bring the spirits behind it under arrest at the count of three one two three shout jesus release the families now release the families now release the families now release the destinies now in the name of jesus christ 
Open your mouth and begin to declare your release. Open your mouth and begin to declare by the blood of the eternal covenant. I declare liberty for my life, liberty for my family, liberty. Liberty, liberty, liberty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm still praying. The Lord is speaking to me and He's saying, Remove the mark of disfavor. There are many physically, there is nothing wrong with you. But in the realm of the spirit, there is a mark of disfavor around you. That even when you go where you should be blessed, it looks like you are despised. I don't know who I'm praying for, but fire is coming on someone now. In the name of Apakatos Katapata, every mark of disfavor at the count of three, that mark must let you go now. One, two, three. Let it go, let it go. Let it go. Be removed from your life. Be removed from your destiny. Be removed from your life. Be removed from your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Carry out this favor. Marital disfavor. Financial disfavor. Be removed from your life. Abracatoshka leverado da coto paratosiata, Cafrenda vasa secataba la cotosia. Hallelujah. You see, let me tell you the truth. Look up, please. This favor is a very terrible thing. When a man does not carry the favor of God in his life, you're not going to be able to make progress. The number one reason why people succeed in life is because of the presence of the favor of God. Favor with God and favor with men. I still want to pray that prayer. Don't be tired. Because this will explain the tragedy behind many of your lives. There are many people it should not be so. No! Your life can't be indefinitely tied down. Nobody thinking about you to help you. Nobody calling for your help. I say it again. What is sitting on your destiny that will not allow favor reach you by the power of the Holy Ghost? I clear it out of your life right now. I clear it out of your life right now. I clear it out of your destiny right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of rejection. The spirit of rejection. That is about the worst spirit that can rest upon anyone. Be delivered from it now. 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 It's a miracle service. Whatever is making people reject you, I'm saying it again. In the name of Jesus, let it be destroyed from your life. Rejecting you in office, rejecting you everywhere. In the name of Jesus, be free from it right now. Mm. Hallelujah. Now hear me, please pay attention. I don't know what connection you have with the spirit of the dead. Seeing them in your dreams. Can I tell you? In most cases, all these dreams with dead people calling you and is a demonic thing. It doesn't mean every dead face. Of course, there are spirits of just men made perfect. But it is the devil in most cases masquerading to reinitiate the process of untimely death. Let me pray.
pray for a family here or a destiny that is under siege. You have been having dreams of dead people calling you. You have no business. Listen, the living and the dead have nothing in common. I pray for you by the fire that is of the Holy Ghost. Oh, death, oh, death, oh, death, oh, death. Release the families now. Release God's people now. Oh, grave, take your hands away from their destinies. Take your hands away from their families. Take your hands away. You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all those in front here, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, the spirits that oppress you, I command them to leave you now. I command them to leave you now. I bring you liberty by the power of the blood of Jesus. There is a family here. God is bringing deliverance particularly to the ladies. There is a spirit that never allowed the ladies. I'm seeing the ladies to move forward. Even when they settle down, they must return back to their husband's homes. I don't know who that is, but in the name of Jesus, the Lord is telling me the ladies it is like the, 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 the female part of the family. I command that spirit because you came here tonight. I don't care how long that covenant has stayed. It is hereby broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Please help them at the back. Broken now. Hallelujah. Broken by the power of the Holy Spirit. Release them now. And then the spirit that makes women the men in a, in a family and turns the men is like it reverses it. When it has to do with responsibility and provision, the wife is the husband and then the husband is just a figurehead there. I decree and declare that demonic anomaly, we exchange it back to its proper place. We exchange it back to its proper place. Hear me? Hear me? Any man here that is not able to cater for your family, by the anointing of the Spirit, I empower your hand to be productive. I empower your hand to be productive. The honor and the dignity that comes with being a man, let it speak in your life. And I pray for every woman here that you have been carrying an extra luggage that you have no business carrying based on God's order. In the name of Jesus, for your sake, may God empower your husband. For your sake, may God empower the men in your life. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for the sick. But I'm seeing someone what we call skin disease. You have some serious, I don't know what it is that is affecting your skin, quite an embarrassing condition. The Lord Jesus Christ, I'm going to be praying for the sick right now. I believe in the healing ministry. A skin problem, something just eating up your skin. Bring this lady for me, tap this girl going back. My dear, come. I want to pray for you. Where are you from? Imo State. In the name of Jesus, look at me. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit where those who have gone ahead of you, where they could not reach. In the name of Jesus, I place an anointing upon you. You will get there and surpass it by the Spirit. You will get there and you will surpass it by the Spirit. I say it again. You will get there and you will surpass it by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, please return back to your seat. Listen, provided you are under this grace, you must rise. In the name of Jesus Christ, by all means, you must rise. Let's pray for the sick.
terminal diseases. I want to start my prayer by praying for those with hepatitis. Listen, there is a reason why sometimes God puts these names. It's not just a story to mention and make it look serious. I, I honestly have not studied the consequences of hepatitis. I don't know what it really does. I just know it's not a good thing. And that is more than enough to cast it out of anybody who has it. Listen, place your hand where you are trusting God for healing. Those of you who came with sick people, now is the time to reach out to them. And those who are connecting for the sick or you are sick yourself, I'm about to pray for you. I believe in the healing power of Jesus. I tell you, there is such a strong healing anointing. Why do we pray for the sick? I have taught you that sickness is a portion of death being ministered to you. Because there is a threshold level of health your body must have for your spirit to remain in it. And if your body becomes deteriorated beyond that threshold point, your spirit will be forced to live in what you call death. Now, it is not the living of the spirit that is a problem. But when you are done with your assignment and it lives with honor and nobility, that is fine. We call it a good old age. But where the devil wants to bring it as a strategy to end your life. Because you see, if you do not have a functional body, your spirit has no legitimate ground to remain in the earth for you to be able to dwell in the earth legitimately you must be a spirit and you must have a healthy functional body so every time the Lord ministers to the sick it is his determination to keep you in health and to promote longevity in your life don't tolerate any sickness in your body we thank God for all our doctors, our medical team. We have a brilliant medical team that is, is doing well, you know. And I have taught you again that doctors and medical people are not anti-faith. We have taught for many years that you either choose doctors or choose the power of God. No, no. Even Jesus is called the great physician, not only the great healer, the great physician. So I'm going to pray for you now. Here's what I want you to do very quickly. As soon as I pray for you, some of you, whilst you were under the anointing, having all kinds of experiences, many supernatural things have happened to you. When we take testimonies, by the way, it's not just testimonies for healing alone. There are those who, whilst ministering deliverance and ministering all kinds of things, visible changes, supernatural manifestations have happened. When it is time to take testimonies, you quickly run out and join those who are healed. Hallelujah. Now, when I pray for you, here's your own part of the your own part of the faith equation you believe and you receive by faith then when I tell you to you check yourself you do what you couldn't do the moment you found out that there is a miracle a miracle has happened whether you are in the overflow outside or any of the overflows down to the basement or in the main auditorium or following online remember our global family you are you are participating fully in every way make sure that we know what has happened to you we're going to take a few testimonies and then we'll pray over the request and make prophetic declarations tonight so let your hearts be open do not allow yourself to return Turn back with terminal diseases, demonic illnesses. You hear the story of the mama that was brought here? Just her eyes began to swell and all kinds of satanic things. Lay your hands and let's trust God for healing. Jesus, the healer. It is true that he heals. I know you are here. Healing in your glory. I know you are here, precious Holy Spirit, I know you are here, you are here to take us higher, I know you are here, precious Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, you gave us the ability to pray for the sick. 
and you said that as we minister to them they will recover there are many people right now who have all kinds of terminal diseases demonic conditions in the name of Jesus the one who sent us I declare that every spirit of infirmity that is behind any health condition right now let that spirit be gone forever mm. right now let that spirit be gone forever let that spirit be gone forever I stretch my hands towards you and I declare right now every sick body from the crown of your head down to the ah my god as I just said from the crown of your head I just felt a surge of power just a strong healing anointing going through someone's body bringing cleansing 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 of every demonic thing right now be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name hepatitis in the name of Jesus be healed of it now HIV be healed now cancer be healed now I'm hearing in my spirit hormonal imbalance I don't know who has that condition but the power of God is touching you right now I declare be healed in the name of Jesus hormonal imbalance be healed now deaf ears whether total deafness or partial deafness be opened in the name of Jesus blind eyes be open now in the name of Jesus anybody here who could not walk you came and you could not walk using an aid in the name of Jesus I empower your limbs begin to walk now in the mighty name of Jesus kidney problems I'm hearing in the spirit help them kidney problems be healed right now There's someone you had something that looked like a lymph node and around your your lower abdominal area and it refused to go in the name of Jesus I command that growth let it disappear now I'm seeing in a vision somebody's tongue I don't know if it's that the tongue is cracked this is what I'm seeing it's like the tongue is you know how it's like you're shredding something I don't know what condition that is but in the name of Jesus I bring you life and healing right now severe bleeding it comes to an end now I'm hearing cancer of the rectum I'm not a doctor whether you are here or following online cancer is like cancer of the rectum this is what I'm hearing in the name of Jesus I use this and any other variation of cancer we command those cancer cells in the body of any of his victim to begin to die now to begin to die now <laughs> hallelujah there's someone you have a boil inside your armpit not around inside your armpit an uncomfortable boil I don't know if you've taken any medical steps but the Lord is telling me he's bringing you healing right now <laughs> he's bringing you healing right now I'm hearing a word in my spirit clogged arteries clogged arteries in the name of Jesus Christ I'm going to meet the doctors one time to teach me all these things so that when I'm saying it I understand what I'm saying clogged arteries 
I, but I believe that that it's a very ster whatever clogs any part of your body for whatever reason is already sentencing you to death. You know that one. In the name of Jesus, I command clogged arteries be open now. In fact, God is showing me someone, um, your heart, your heart is not fully functional. It's affecting your breathing. I don't know what that condition is now, but it's a serious, some sort of cardiovascular condition. I stretch my hands now. Every part that has been blocked or clogged, I command it to be open now. I command it to be open now. Hallelujah. I'm hearing something very interesting. The Lord is telling me, I don't know why he's not telling me the nation, but he's saying we should pray for a particular African nation so that there will not be a resurgence of COVID. A particular African nation. In the name of Jesus, I know we are praying for the sick, but since the word has come, we pray particularly for the nations of Africa. We already drove that demonic spirit out of this continent. We close the doors of the continent again. In the name of Jesus, there will not be a resurgence of any, any news of COVID in Africa again. In the name of Jesus. Gastritis. The Lord is healing someone of gastritis by the power of the Holy Spirit by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's someone, I'm seeing you are bleeding severely from your nose and your mouth. Severely from your nose. I'm just looking at a vision. I'm seeing blood just coming out. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is, but I curse that spirit right now in Jesus' name. I once prayed over this condition that God is showing me and I'm seeing that God is showing me again. Somebody, you, it's like you regurgitate food. When you eat, you literally regurgitate it out again to eat it. I don't know who that person is. Is there someone like that? Please, let me pray for you, particularly that person. I want to quickly come out. Quickly, we're still praying for the sick. If there's someone like that, quickly, please. Can you imagine this kind of thing? Beautiful lady like this and this demonic thing wants to plague her destiny. All of you. Holy Spirit. Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit. Thou art welcome in this place, omnipotent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome. Allah shabra sadi Hallelujah. Satan, in the name of Jesus, if it was not so in the beginning, then we decree and declare. I don't know what the medical condition is where people regurgitate food out again. But I know that it is a wicked, demonic, and uncomfortable condition. I stretch my hands. Don't be embarrassed, my dear people who have come out. This A miracle service is like going to a hospital. There's, there's nothing to be ashamed of. We're a family of love and we're a family that are determined to see the word of God speak over someone's life. That lady, this lady, tap that lady for me. Yes. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. I curse that spirit out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
this your own is not even over this issue i'm praying for i command that spirit huh? near success syndrome i curse it from your life in the name of jesus now ladies and gentlemen look at over one case just one case that is called look at the precious people are you seeing that sickness does not know race age level of enlightenment thank you first for the courage to come out and receive from the lord you're not going to waste your time now i stretch my hands towards you alongside every other person i don't know if that is a digestive problem but i use it as a point of contact for any other problem the power of god is coming upon you people in front now in the name of jesus i declare be healed now i release the power of the holy spirit now 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 be healed now that condition stops now i set you free let there be a correction in the name of jesus christ let there be a correction in the name of jesus christ let there be a correction in the name of jesus let there be a correction in the name of jesus now i want to pray for lums god bless you please return back to your seat rejoicing we're still praying for the sick take note for those who have been healed we'll soon call you now for your testimony i want to pray i'm seeing several um what's the name of this condition the neck deficiency of iodine goiter there's somebody who has this goiter in the name of jesus christ your neck is already even it looks like your neck is even swelling already by the power of the holy spirit i don't know where you are but in the name of jesus christ this woman holding a picture run come Where are you coming from? Ogun State. Huh? Ogun State. Are you sick? Yes. What's I, wrong? I had a car accident, um, accident on the 1st of January. My bum bum tore into two. Look at me. Mom. You came here with your mom? Yes. I, I, it's okay. We're praying for them. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know why I, I looked at you and the Lord just beckoned that I called you. Can you imagine that kind of accident and that, that kind of injury? I can imagine the kind of pain that you're going through in the name of Jesus. Now, be healed. Be healed. Madam, look at me. Do what I'm doing. Just do what I'm doing. If you feel pain, don't have. Huh? You want to? You want to try running? Run. Any pain? Any? Give her the mic. She had an accident. Come on, are you giving Jesus praise? Look at this. When was the when was the accident? On the first of January, twenty twenty three. Medically, you went to the hospital. Yes, I'm ordered. The bomb bomb tore into two. And right now, you can move without pain. Yes, sir. Look at this. Yes, sir. But you see, the most important prayer. Thank God for this healing. But the most important prayer is this demonic oppression will not rise a second time. And we declare you will be perfectly healed you will be perfectly healed in the name of Jesus hallelujah now I decree and declare high blood pressure anyone who is suffering from high blood pressure whether as as inheritance or something that just started from you I declare be healed right now be healed right now 
someone the nails the nails on your feet are rotting i'm sorry to use that expression but it's already squeezing like a, what they call it now is it an athlete's feet or something like that the nails the nails on your feet are beginning to rot in i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus the power of the holy spirit is touching you right now and the lord is also asking me to pray for someone because with what i see your teeth your entire you know your teeth is getting weak weak and weak and is something that is eating up your gums or something affecting you in fact you are suffering from very intense like a um, mouth odor it's not like you're a careless person but this is a serious dental problem and you need help you need the power of god i decree and declare over you be healed right now now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus who died and rose again for you and for those who you are lifting up in prayer that also includes those who are fallen from hospitals you can't believe how many hospitals in this nation and across the world air these miracle services over their patients as a commitment there are people right now on sick beds you know whose family members are just connecting by faith in the name of jesus be healed right now now in the name of Jesus be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed right now lump in the right breast I command it to disappear now for someone I don't know what surgery you had on your legs but it's like something went wrong this is what I'm seeing I'm declaring that whatever went wrong with that surgery, let it be corrected right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, I'm going to give you two prayer points. And whilst you are praying, please hear me. I want everyone to check yourself. The moment you find out that you could do what you couldn't do before, you can now do. Or there's a, a visible miracle. I want you to leave your seat very boldly and confidently. And come and stand in front here. We'll take a few testimonies while we're praying. We'll do this very fast because there are still some other things that we have to do. So if if you are coming out for testimony whether for healing or any other supernatural miracle that has happened to you here please leave the, your seat very boldly while we're praying you can come and continue your prayer here in front we'll take a few testimonies if you need to check yourself at the medical stand the medical stand is just at the back you can do well to go there let the doctors check you verify you and for those who have been healed we'll take a few testimonies very quickly whilst we're doing that please rise let me give you two prayer points we're going to pray and then we'll take a few testimonies make sure you don't sit back once you have been touched check yourself you can call your loved ones who you stood in faith for please make sure that you they have um, evidences of complete healing or healing then you make sure that you come to the front very quickly and for those who are coming if they are coming from outside or any of the overflows please allow them give them the liberty to come just guide them while they come god bless you say after me in the name of jesus shout it with faith say in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit supernatural restoration of time and of things over my life right now open your mouth and begin to pray supernatural restoration of time supernatural restoration of things is someone praying those for testimonies begin to march forward supernatural restoration of time of things supernatural restoration someone is praying this prayer will work wonders in the life of many people restoration Oh, your lifting has come. Oh, your lifting has come. Oh, your rising has come. Oh.
In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Are you ready for the second prayer point? Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Every word assigned. To announce me. Everyone assigned. To help me. Everyone assigned to help me find visibility. I command their ministries now. Open your mouth and pray. It takes men used by God to help men rise. Someone is praying. Everyone assigned by the Spirit of the Living God for my rising, for my visibility. Assigned for my rising. If you are Joseph, pray over Pharaoh that Pharaoh will be used by God for your rising. If you are Daniel, pray for Nebuchadnezzar to be used by God for your rising. Is someone praying? Where are the helpers? Joseph of Arimathea, Simeon of Cyrene, the Naomi's, In the name of Jesus. 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 He said, tell the people that they go forward. I taught you last week that progress is not just moving around. Your last step or your next step must be ahead of your last step for it to be called progress. If your next step is equal to your last step, that is not progress. There is motion, there is movement, but it is not progress. Hallelujah. Let me add that one prayer point and then we'll take a few testimonies and then we'll begin to collect, collate and collect our prayer requests. Those who are coming for testimonies, please allow them, even if we're not able to take everything, at least let it be a witness before God that um, they were touched by the mighty hand of God. Are we together? Someone is going to prophesy that throughout this year from now, that the step you take next must be higher than the one you're taking now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, are you ready to pray? Say, Father. Shout it again. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus. Every step I take will be a step higher than the previous one spiritually financially and in every other aspect of my life open your mouth and pray no marking time no marking time no marking time constructive advancement progress by the spirit and in the spirit In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. Shout it with faith. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Supernatural restoration. Of time. And of things. Over my life. Right now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Supernatural restoration of time. Supernatural restoration of things. Is someone praying? 
Those for testimonies begin to march forward. Supernatural restoration of time, of things. Shabragatos Sadikatosiata. Supernatural restoration. Someone is praying. This prayer will work wonders in the life of many people. Restoration. Oh, your lifting has come. Oh, your lifting has come. Oh, your rising has come. Oh. Has come. I, 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 Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, every word assigned to announce me, everyone assigned to help me, everyone assigned to help me find visibility. I command their ministries now. Open your mouth and pray. It takes men used by God to help men rise. Someone is praying. Everyone assigned by the Spirit of the Living God for my rising, for my visibility. Assigned for my rising. If you are Joseph, pray over Pharaoh that Pharaoh will be used by God for your rising. If you are Daniel, pray for Nebuchadnezzar to be used by God for your rising. Is someone praying? Where are the helpers? Joseph's of Arimathea, Simeon's of Cyrene, the Naomi's. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. He said, tell the people that they go forward. I taught you last week that progress is not just moving around. Your last step or your next step must be ahead of your last step for it to be called progress. If your next step is equal to your last step, that is not progress. There is motion, there is movement, but it is not progress. Hallelujah. Let me add that one prayer point and then we'll take a few testimonies and then we'll begin to collect, collate and collect our prayer requests. Those who are coming for testimonies, please allow them, even if we're not able to take everything, at least let it be a witness before God that um, they were touched by the mighty hand of God. Are we together? Someone is going to prophesy that throughout this year from now, that the step you take next must be higher than the one you're taking now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, are you ready to pray? Say, Father. Shout it again. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus. Every step I take will be a step higher than the previous one spiritually financially 
and in every other aspect of my life. Open your mouth and pray. No marking time. No marking time. No marking time. Constructive advancement. Progress by the spirit and in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please be seated gloriously for a few minutes. Let's celebrate Jesus for these testimonies. Hallelujah. Now, testimonies are a revelation of what God is able to do in and through men. As you take these testimonies, let it build your faith. But while that is happening, please everyone pass your prayer request to the last person by your left or your right to make it easy for the ushers to receive. And those online, keep sending in your prayer requests right now. And um, we're also going to pray over the request. We'll be praying shortly for our request. Let's take our testimonies. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Thank you so much, Apostle. Listen very carefully and let's glorify Jesus. Go ahead. Amen. Amen. Um, I've been having back pain for more than 10 years. I've done physiotherapy. I've taken injections and so many other things, but it just doesn't go. It comes and goes. My entire spine, I couldn't stand very well before. But as I came today, I was feeling pain at the back, and my leg was spending me. And since January, my toes have not really been moving very well. But when I was to pray, I keyed in, and now I'm not feeling any pain. The pain is gone. Yes. Check yourself. No pain whatsoever. No, I'm not feeling any pain. Can you give Jesus praise? That miracle remains permanent in your life in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Yes, please. God bless you, my dear. Hallelujah. Yes. So um, I work for long hours. I sit to work. So um, last year, last year I noticed my back started paining me. So I thought it's because I sit for long hours to work. So sometimes I have to lie down and continue working. Yes. The back pain is sometimes very terrible. And then when I came here, I came here with that pain. Even when I was sitting down, it was paining me ter um, terribly. So when Apostle prayed, and immediately after the prayer, I was shocked. I, I moved my hand, I couldn't feel it. I had to even bend down to pick my water to be shocked. Bend down, check it now. Check it now. Gone. Completely gone. gone. Celebrate Jesus, Koinonia. It will never return to you again. Amen. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Yes, please. Well, uh, Apostle, she has a medical condition. I will not go into the depth of mentioning. So Allah has speak to Go you. ahead, my dear. Koinonia, good evening. Um, I, I used to have, sometime last year, I developed a skin condition demographia it's basically skin writing like um you feel intense itching for no just cause okay and then when you apply pressure when you try to scratch you have welts it's like urticaria but on a higher level so um i've been taking antihistamines since last year and when i take it i get relief but then it doesn't last. Mm. I have to keep what taking it now? every day. Yes. So today I forgot to take my drugs and then I am I had to get water. But even as I got the water, I forgot to take the drugs again until I finished the water. So into the service I started having itching. It came again. It's as if like it's as if there's fire in my body and I just have to start itching. So, and now when you now mention skin conditions, and I now told God that I can't leave because I've been coming with it. Is that a miracle? Yeah, I've seen that woman walking. She could not walk. What happened to her? Come. Oh dear, lift it up and walk. Koinonia, are you celebrating what Jesus is doing? You couldn't do this. How long? Four years. Four years? Yes. Where are you coming from? From just. Goodness. Yes. Please walk, madam. Just turn around and let me speak over your life. Father, in the name of Jesus. You see, let me tell you the truth. You have to come. You have to put yourself in the shoes of people who are oppressed to know the, the sheer inconvenience that they go through. 
you'll be surprised that this this is still she's still trusting god for perfection a bit but you may be surprised at what this relief already that she does not even have to use the walking aid in the name of jesus may the lord perfect you completely perfect you in the name of jesus yes pastor jake so sorry for interrupting yes please my so, dear straight to the point yes what happened dream, to you now as, as you were praying i keyed into the prayer and all of a sudden i felt a calmness like cool breeze and i'm here to give up completely to God. in the amen. name of jesus it will never return again by the power of the holy spirit amen and then secondly um i was i've been praying about divine direction and i i go to god in prayer because i have a choice to make between somewhere in nasarawa state and somewhere else in the east so i was asking god for divine direction and asked the holy spirit to help mm. me hear him while apostle was preaching so as he was preaching he mentioned nasarawa state in particular and i believe that as my word and i accept it and i follow it in, jesus. in the name of jesus god bless you yes please apostle you gave word of knowledge of those who regurgitate he's yes. 23 years 23 years old he has been regurgitating since when he was a child now after you pray the prayer he went outside to take something and he couldn't regurgitate it's gone it's completely healed by the power of the most time in the name of jesus it never returns to him again yes please chronic ulcer for over two years healed by the power of ulcer God. healed three let's years, celebrate jesus three it years never... chronic ulcer too okay yes it never returns again in jesus name she had an accident five years ago and broke her knee so she couldn't kneel while you were praying the power of god came upon her and then she could How long? her now so it's more than 10 years and it's a family thing my daddy had it my brother also had issues with his leg my sister too and you broke your leg yes sir for 10 years yes sir. run now She Try also couldn't kneel. Now she could kneel now. Try to kneel. Any pain? Stand. Are you, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at this. In the name of Jesus, you are not only healed, you are delivered from that demonic curse. It will never return to you again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. I've known about, I've known that pain. pain. For over three months now, he's been healed. For three months. Yes. It she, never returns to you in, again in Jesus' name. Yes. She please. had a bone scar in her legs. They, they, they've checked on you, don't need. They've checked at the medical stand. She has a a scar, a bone, a bone. I had I had a burn. Um, so it's been really painful, and I couldn't do certain movements. So when you called people for natural stick, I felt fell under the anointing, and I hit my. Wounds. That's where you are from. I'm half Nasarawa. My mom is from Nasarawa. Oh, I see. So it was very painful when I hit my wound, and like I could barely stand. So by the time you started praying for, um, you know, the sick, yes. I felt the pain left. And yesterday I was trying to jump in my room because I've been trusting God to just take it away, and I couldn't. But now, like, look at this. <laughs> Amazing. It will never, never, never return to you again in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Let's take two more from there. Yes, gone pain, gone. You made mention of those who have problem with their teeth gone. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus, healing for you right now. Two of them. Two of them. In sir. Jesus' name, you are perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. These children, what happened to them? They all have pains in their legs. Pains. Pains. Pain in the neck, pain in the leg. They are all healed. In the name I of. Would, I was having a um, neck ache, but as you prayed for me, I was not having the neck ache again. It's turn, gone. turn your neck now. Turn your neck. God bless you, eh? He's spoken on behalf of all the others. In Jesus' name, I declare for all our children, you are perfected. No devil will touch you in the name of Jesus. Supernaturally protected in Jesus' name. Yes, Pastor Jakes. Thank you. All right. So, Apostle, you gave an accurate word of knowledge regarding someone with a heart condition. Yes, sir. And this woman came here with that. You came here with a heart. Yes, please. Yes, I was born with sickle cell. So, last year I was diagnosed with heart failure because I couldn't breathe well. And I have pains in my chest and bloating and I cannot breathe well. 
Um, even when I came today, I came with pains in my body. I came from Kaduna. I have painkillers in my bag right now. But when because of the, the condition, yes, I always I'm, I always have pains in my body. Okay, what happened now? I just felt my body just started shaking, and I felt warm, like I poured warm water on my body. Yes. And that's it. Um, I don't have palpitations anymore. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare holistic perfection. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Let's celebrate Jesus. Apostle, you give another clear word of prophecy yes, sir. and insight regarding his case. So you spoke about somebody with the cancer of the rectum. You? Yes, sir. Verified? Of the cancer, not yet verified, but I came with the swollen feet. Uh, you Very big. You can't assume it's cancer now. No, no, cancer was verified. I did a, a oh, scan. Oh, the cancer is verified. Yes, it was verified. Yes, sir. Huh? So what he means by not verified, he means for his healing, he oh, needs okay. to check. Okay. Yes, he has to go to the toilet and check. Oh no, but but the the, the cancer. Can you imagine how can a young man like this? You see how demonic. You see how I was going to say, yeah, demonic Satan is. You see how. <laughs> How, how terrible can we imagine i mean this this uh, this guy is just starting out in life and this satanic condition of of cancer and sir he also came here his legs were sold if I, I had to look at his leg properly truly just to double check look at that and it's gone now it's going down he came with a swollen foot and place your hand there Father, perfect this. Amen. You will not die from cancer. Amen. We cost that demon in the name of Jesus. You will go to the hospital and it will be verified that you are perfectly whole. Amen. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen. Let's celebrate Jesus for him. Hallelujah. God bless you. Yes. I came here. Anytime I eat food, I remove it. Anytime I eat even biscuits or I take drinks, I remove it. Whenever I'm eating beside my sisters, they drive me away that I'm eating food and removing it. So you called out people that eat, eat food and remove it. So I came out. After that, I went back. I bought this biscuit. And you bought I, this biscuit? Yes. Oh, look at that. Koinonia, don't be too used to the supernatural. Look at this. And it's gone. Now, you see, ladies and gentlemen, some of us, look at me. The problem that affected our self-worth started at this age. You see that? You may not know what this kind of miracle is. It's already a miracle to everybody. But to these precious ones you see, imagine what it will mean driving them as a young lady growing up. Now, how old are you, darling? 14. You see that now? This is a teenager. And then driving her in school, friends, whatever. This, the devil will cash in on this opportunity and this lady will grow into adulthood not believing in herself and believing every rubbish and garbage that society says. My dear, listen to me. It is not only that Jesus has healed you, you are a precious lady. Don't listen to that nonsense. Don't be sad at those who maybe your loved ones or whatever. They are just doing what is human. Huh? But in Jesus' name, we are praying for you. Never forget anybody who tries to tell you anything. Tell yourself, I am a champion. Say it. I am a champion. Say it again. I am a champion. Say it one more time. I am a champion. Bless, bless you. God bless you, darling. Thank you. This Good evening, Koinonia. My name is Favor Edogu. Anytime I'm sleeping, anytime I'm sleeping, my head will start paining me. If I shake it, it will pain me. But now it's no more paining me again. I don't know what is making me happy, whether it's a miracle or the intelligence of the child. Some of us at this age, you could not even read and write yet. You were still a prayer point. <laughs> Hallelujah. My little one, how old are you? I'm nine years. Wow. You are a very smart girl, eh? In the name of Jesus. Let's pray for Koinonia children in one minute. Just stretch your hands wherever. And if there's any child near you, lay your hands in one minute. We are not wasting our time. No parent prays for a useless child. 
No parent prays for a thief. No parent prays for an arm robber or a prostitute or a troublemaker. It is the consolation of every parent to have children that outdo them always. I want you to declare, even if your biological children are not here, use these ones as a point of contact. We pray for koinonia children. They are taught of the Lord and great is their peace in the name of Jesus. They grow like the cedar in Lebanon. They are intelligent in the name of Jesus. And we declare perfection for this little one favor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. By the way, um, the exercise book and the jotters, has it, have they been shared? Okay, so we're going to do them now. Make sure, in order of priority, every child in this place, they should get the exercise book or the jotters first before the adults. Please, this is an instruction. Adults, some of you... Are we together? So all don't collect for any child. If the child is not here, then the day they come, they will collect, please, so that we don't have all kinds of misbehavior in the house of God. Once you don't have a child here, please, I'm announcing don't harass the protocol, please, and please, and please, in the name of Jesus. But for all children, beginning from my little one here, in fact, go and bring one for me. I will give that favor myself. Bring quickly, quickly, please. Hallelujah. My apologies, Pastor Jakes, for keeping you waiting. Yes. You see, we'll keep doing for these children what some of us didn't have the opportunity to enjoy. Some of you, all you had all through your life was rejection and pain till you gave your life to Jesus. So these ones now, where's the little one that went away? Let her come. Except if she's gone out. Is she here? Baby favor, where are you? Come. Is she here? She's gone. Where are her parents? Release the girl to come and receive her blessing now. Hallelujah. Anyway, while she's coming, these two, my dear, come. Come. May God bless you. Eh? Bring the jotters now, my people, or the books, whichever. How old are you? Nine. Nine. Ten. God bless you. In Jesus' name. You are a brilliant child, eh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Exercise books will do them more. Jotters will not really help children. They are in school. Okay. I gave you one. Okay, let me give you one so it will go around. This is your own, eh? God bless you. Where is yes? This is our beautiful baby favor. So I'll give you two, eh? This is your own. Thank you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Who asked you to be an adult? It's, it's already too late, ladies and gentlemen. You've had your time. You've grown. If you misuse it, use what is in front of you to correct it. But let us give this our children the best. Yes, please. Go ahead. All right, so Apostle, just um, quickly for them. They both had problems with their legs. So they were with their legs. In the name of Jesus, sorry darlings, we may not have the time for you to announce that, eh? but in Jesus' name, we declare perfection for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Let's celebrate our children. Next person, please. Praise the Lord. I've had difficulty reading small characters for over a year now. Reading small characters, yes. okay. Yeah. While you pray, I laid my hands on my eyes and... And right now, yes, you are able that. to see yes, very clearly. Yes, sir. Let's give Jesus praise. We do not trivialize the hand of God. Yes. Apostle, this man had a dream of people shooting him and he woke up limping. He's a security man. And so because of that, he lost the job. So while you were ministering... Did you hear that testimony? He had a dream. People were shooting him. He's a security man. And he woke up physically and limping. lost his... Limping. Limping. So because of that, his job was terminated. Oh dear. Now, and right now. Now while you are ministering, it's, it could work fairly Look at this. Now. It's no longer Come. limping. Hallelujah. That's already half of the miracle. Come, let me pray the other one. If your job was terminated because of your limping, then we need to pray that you get another job, eh? A better one. In the name of Jesus, do you believe in the power of prophecy? I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Between now and next miracle service, return with your testimony. 
In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Congratulations. We pray for partial deafness. His right ear has been, he couldn't hear. I couldn't hear for this ear for the past three weeks. The ear has been completely blocked. What happened? All of a sudden, during your ministration, you mentioned deaf ear. Be healed now. And although I felt this sensation on my ear, the yes. ear is completely open. In the name of Jesus, it remains open forever. <laughs> forever. Yes, please. Next person, very quickly. Mouth odor since last year is healed now. Okay, yes, Daddy. Um, on September last year, I started uh, noticing after my prayers, midnight prayers, um, in the morning I will start uh, um, having mouth, mouth order. order. Yes, That's all right. We'll pray for you. In the name of Jesus, it is perfected right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's have one more now, from this, here. This testimony, the doctor will help us too. Yes. Okay. Let us. Good evening, Koinonia. She had breast cancer, and breast, breast cancer, once it's metastasized to the lungs, they will have difficulty in breathing. Yes. Most times we support them with oxygen in the hospital, and they don't stand for long. Mama here came with breast cancer, and it has metastasized to the lungs. Before now, she can't stand for this long. But now she can, she's been standing since she came in for her testimony. But she will, might have to go back and do this. Test, it, it, test again. Yes, sir. Everybody stretch your hands towards Mama or to the screen that you can see in the name of Jesus. Mama, we declare that you will not die. <laughs> Medically, it may look like it's getting to a very disturbing position, but we reverse it by the power of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> the fullness of your days you will live. The Lord who granted you the strength to stand this long, may he grant you the grace to live to the fullness of your days. <laughs> And that's not in a hospital. You will be at home with your children in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be perfected. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. Let's have, um, have we taken that testimony? She, she stands, but she doesn't feel any sensation on her leg. Okay. Since last year, except yes. when she touches the leg. That's when she can feel that she has a leg. Wow. But while you are ministering now, she, she can feel the sensation on her leg. You can feel your legs now. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's take one more. Let's take one more from there. Heart palpitation healed. So um, when, when I came, I wrote my prayer request that God heal my heart. Both my parents and all my ancestors have high blood pressure and I've been struggling with high blood pressure for quite a little bit. It will crash, it will go up, but it had been stabilized at 130 something. But when he said if you have a heart condition or whatnot, I felt something like a pain going up my throat and then I sneezed it out. So I went to go and check my blood pressure. I can't remember the last time my blood pressure was 120 something over it. He completely crashed. Give Jesus okay. praise. Every, every manifestation of negative inheritance is stops with you. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Let's, let's take a few here and then we'll just wrap up. Apostle, we have testimonies point from the online community. Wow, so amazing, okay. My father, we have testimonies from Tyler. Tyler says, I had costochonditis and couldn't breathe properly. After connecting online by faith as prayers were being made, yes. I can now breathe properly without pain. Amazing. Glory Let's give Jesus. Jesus praise. This one is from T from Canada. T says, Apostle said boil in the armpit. It was me. I am healed. I am returning all glory to God. Hallelujah. This is from Grace from Cameroon. She says that while Apostle was mentioning uh, someone with cuts on their tongue, mm. that earlier during the service she had gone to take juice from the fridge and drank some and she experienced the pain but immediately you called out the word of knowledge she said she began to receive it by faith and ants came up on her she felt like ants on her tongue okay plenty of them and, and then right now she's and healed. Calm, and then all her injuries are sealed up Praise God. This is from Prempe Isabella from Ghana. She says, I thank God for healing me of hormonal imbalance. Also, my period that has ceased flowing since 2019 started flowing again during service. My God, look at this. We declare over the online community and those who are following from across the globe in the name of Jesus as it is happening right here. Let it happen. Let it reproduce itself in your homes, your offices, your various viewing centers in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Yes, sir. We'll take two or three more, then I'll do a general prayer. My name is Precious Egbegi. 
I've been having this tooth cyst in my tooth, my right tooth, for about two years, since 2020. I cannot chew, and I, can, I have challenges sleeping in the night. So now, when I was to prophesy about those having tooth challenges, now I can grind my teeth, I can grind my teeth very well. In the name of Jesus, go and enjoy your liberty by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, please. My, my name is Chizara. Anytime, anytime I'm coughing, I used to have chest pain. Anytime you're coughing, you have chest pain. Yes. And right now? It's gone. Gone. It goes completely in the name of Jesus Christ. So both of them were healed of pain in the stomach. She had a sharp pain here. At the sharp side. pain. And you too, in the name of Jesus, we declare healing for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Perfection for your bodies in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Let the next set be the last. So she was healed of my name is Catherine, so I can't stand for a long time, like 10 minutes. If I just wanted to stand, and then I can't. To even bend down, I can't bend what down. What was the issue? What As happened? in my leg here. Yes. So the thing usually disturb me. At so Apostle, she used to have, she has waist pain. Okay, very waist, severe, waist pain, I yes, see. And you've been healed. And right now you've been healed. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, perfection for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now for sake of time, I stretch my hands over everyone here, those who have been healed, verified by our precious medical team. In the name of Jesus, it remains permanent. It remains permanent by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me encourage all of you, even though you are not able to testify now, please do well. You can always register your testimonies. The media team will be glad to share it. And then any Koinonia service would be an opportunity for you to share. May God bless you. Let's celebrate them. Give them a big, big God bless you. Hallelujah. How many of you are yet to submit your prayer requests? If you are yet to submit your prayer requests, please indicate by a wave of hand. There will be someone who will pick it up from you immediately. Is there anyone, any such people? Very quickly. Then let me request that we all stand. Please stretch your hands as we always do over the request. We are praying now. If there are still others, please bring them very quickly so that we we'll pray. Someone begin to speak already. Speak already. Declare over your requests by the power of the Holy Spirit. Go ahead and begin to prophesy over your prayer requests. Prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit that in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon this request. Let every request here be turned into a testimony. Let every request here be turned to a testimony. Let every request here be turned to a testimony. Supernatural testimonies from across the nations of the earth. In the name of Jesus. From across the nations of the earth. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles. Shout a loud amen. Supernatural breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural connections. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural restorations. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare by the privilege of God's grace over every request here represented that by the power that raised Christ from the dead may the God that answers speedily begin to answer for you from tonight. 
there are people here who wrote testimonies before now i mean they wrote very serious requests you see the thing about the request here is that you you have the liberty of your privacy with god nobody reads it from here once it is prayed is collated and burnt so this is a representation of your faith and your desire and remember what mark 11 24 says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it i decree and declare because you have written as a sign of faith believing therefore may your hands receive them as answers we convert every prayer request here to an answer in the name of jesus most of the answers here will require the ministry of men in partnership with the holy spirit we call forth such men now in the name of jesus christ no one here who has written his request will return back with shame i say it again no one who has written his or her request here will return with shame in the name of jesus christ and for those of you who have written for your loved ones some of them do not even know that you've written this for them in jesus name wherever they are across this nation and across the globe may the god of heaven locate them in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ i speak to you that these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of jesus christ i'm about to speak over your life we're wrapping up already so as i speak over your life i told you that to mean that if god is lifting this ministry it means you should not be at the same level therefore i declare over you in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy ghost let the favor of god rest on your head You know, I told you that the number one reason why people succeed is favor. If this is the only grace you receive and live, I guarantee you, you will return back rejoicing. <laughs> one more time, I'm saying it, especially for those who have not seen this grace walk in you. I pray for you. This is a house and a life that God has shown favor in an unusual dimension. May that grace rest upon you 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 in the name of jesus christ number two from across the seven continents of the earth anyone who has been mandated to reach you for your rising whatever barrier is stopping them from reaching you i take it out of the way now I take it out of the way now. Number three, the grace for visibility. Whatever has closed your glory so that your works and your excellence is not seen, especially by those who can celebrate God with you and even re reward you. I declare, may that grace cause your face to be seen. May that grace cause your voice to be heard. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit, the riches and the blessings that are connected to every territory. In this case, Abuja here or whatever territory you are coming from, I declare the Bible says the increase of the earth is for all, that even the king is fed by the increase of the field. Your portion in this land or wherever you are represented, I command it to locate you. I command it to gravitate towards you in the name name of Jesus Christ number four I pray for your family if it is well with you and it is not well with your family then it is not well with you I pray for you all your siblings your parents your loved ones all who are connected to you by natural descent by blood and by responsibility none of them will go down none of them will go down none of them will fall by the wayside in the name of jesus christ hear me koinonia let a mark and a mantle of honor let it rest upon your head 
let it rest upon your head let it rest upon your destiny everyone who is in ministry here and it looks like ministry is barren unfruitful you love god you are serving him with integrity of heart but there are no results that follow your loving and serving jesus in the name of jesus begin to command unusual results begin to command unusual results I separate you from the company of wicked and unreasonable people in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak over your life that anyone who fights you goes down instantly in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for our children we prayed for our children already but we're praying for our children koinonia children will be known for excellence Koinonia children will be known for diligence. They will love the Lord and they will be outstanding. I pray for every professional here. Anyone here who is in the career path, especially a professional, in the name of Jesus, I forbid you from remaining at the same position. Business people, hear me. I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the grace that helps men prosper. Everyone in business here, I place an anointing upon you. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. Anyone here in need of a job, I declare may your supernatural job locate you. Shame and reproach is finally terminated from your life. Let the weak say I am strong in the strength of the Lord. I will trust in you. There are eight people here. I want you to write it. In two weeks, a supernatural job is coming. I saw it in the spirit. Write it down. I speak to you by the God who has sent me. Eight people the Lord showed me in I'm not saying one month I'm not saying three weeks in two weeks let me say it again in the name of Jesus Christ it will surprise you how God will do it listen despise not prophesying the word of God is powerful let me say it again there are eight people the Lord showed me in two weeks in the name of Jesus my God will give you a job that will surprise you for some of you 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 will be one of you you will be the first out of five people who is going to have that job you are five and seen you will be the first out of five people that all graduates all doing well but it looks like a job the only person i think one of you works maybe with one telecommunications company and that was it but my god is giving you a job that will surprise you Hallelujah. You believe that? There's someone here, the Lord is speaking to me, that He is going to connect you to the governor of your state. Yeah. Hear what I'm telling you. There is a vacancy for you. God Himself is going to put. Don't think I'm just speaking. No, believe it. I'm saying it again that the Lord is connecting you to the governor of your state.
and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon the king sent for Joseph I'm saying this because I'm seeing destiny about to happen for someone that listen listen before you say amen that somebody you did not expect listen just believe me the person is not going to send for you by somebody else he will get your number by himself and you are going to see a call mark my words and mark what I'm saying in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is but I prophesy let it be so for you by this divine connection may destiny happen for you in the name of Jesus Christ please help them in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you're watching me from the United Kingdom right now you're watching me from the United Kingdom God is shifting you from UK to US this is where I see that your destiny is listen you're watching me from the United Kingdom husband and wife two of you are watching me as I'm speaking to you now the Lord is telling me that he's relocating you from US from UK to US because he wants to connect you to destiny Joseph had to leave his father's house to go to Egypt because that was the place of destiny in the name of Jesus may God make that happen for you and let me use that opportunity and speak listen I wrote about five scriptures here be patient with me tonight when I pray on this I'm going to read those scriptures and speak them into your life they all came in the place of prayer it's not something that I just sat down and invented they were words that God gave me to speak the blessing upon you hallelujah but let me pray for someone if you are in the wrong location I stand by God and I pray hear me believe this this is a very serious prayer you can be diligent in the wrong place and never receive a harvest I'm saying it again if you are in the wrong location by the power that raised Christ from the dead I relocate you to the place of destiny 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 in the name of Jesus Christ if you are abroad and your destiny is in Nigeria I bring you back in Jesus name if you are here and your destiny is in another nation I don't care how you will get there by God and once it is scriptural may my God push you there Your spirit I will rise From the ashes of defeat The resurrected King Is resurrecting me In your name I come alive To declare your victory The resurrected King Is resurrecting me Hallelujah I want you by faith whether you are sitting or standing stretch your hands towards this request and I want you to begin to make faith declarations these are not rituals ladies and gentlemen there is power being invested here as we pray go ahead as I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ lifting up this prayer request not because you cannot approach God directly but he has granted grace he said brethren pray for us men can be prayed for people can stand based on their covenant with God and they can agree as touching important matters in your life someone begin to make declarations Lord I have brought this prayer request as proof of my faith is someone praying now I'm going to go on my knees as I pray on this for you and I want you to believe in the next one minute everyone is praying in the name of Jesus Christ Shako sapare skadele kaparosa tiata Embra teke parakato shata brakati balako siata In your name I come alive To declare your victory The resurrected King By your spirit I will rise From the ashes of defeat
are people saying apostle haven't seen what the lord has done in this place i know that my relationship with jesus needs to be mended i need to start a relationship or i need to rededicate my life we have just two minutes for you aside from those outside those inside and then the overflows outside there please i want you to quickly take a step of faith and come and stand here you want to give your heart to jesus you want to rededicate your life i want you to leave your seat right now let's celebrate them someone has to summon that courage to come and stand here koinonia is this the best you can do keep coming quickly my soul says yes says yes says yes my soul says yes says yes keep standing one minute please quickly come and join them my soul says yes says yes says yes my soul says yes I salute every one of you for the courage to come to Jesus the Bible says as many who will come please join them quickly if you're joining them please those coming from outside allow them to come very quickly so that they join the Bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away lift your right hand to Jesus and say it convincingly let it also be from the depth of your heart say Lord Jesus say it again say Lord Jesus I believe in you that you are the son of god tonight i declare that jesus is my savior i declare that jesus is my lord i declare that jesus is my king i receive forgiveness of sin i receive the life of god i declare that i go for whatever and backward never in the name of jesus keep your hands lifted father thank you for these ones they have come in response to your love and i commend them to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit i declare that you are partakers of the life of god you are benefactors of the gift of righteousness the abundance of grace and you begin to reign from tonight forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ the lord bless you the Lord honor you in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching. Like our videos, share, and subscribe. Thank you.